This is an experiment, one that I've done several times, but I want to show you how I get pictures of orbs of light coming from the light. Now, I'm in my bedroom. I have a little LED light on, on my dresser, and I have some marbles that are just glued together, and the LED light is shining in several places on the marbles. Now, the way I get my orb pictures is I go in real close with my camera. I take the focus in, and there, you see, I've gotten an orb. That seems to be something that is emanating from the light. Let me show you how it goes into the light and out of the light. As it gets further out, it's more round. All the wrinkles are out of it. It's sort of a teardrop shape as it comes out of the light. More so as it enters into the light sea, it becomes more teardrop shaped. And usually I have some pretty colorful strands of light at this part right here, but tonight they're not real colorful. There's a few of them that are though. I'm just moving the camera about in the room and you see there's a lot of darkness too. White has dark light that comes from it. Let me see if I can show you that. Sometimes I lose track of where my light source is. There it is. Okay. See the dark strands of light that come from the light? It's all very interesting. These little digital cameras are fantastic in that they capture a spectrum of the light that is just like another dimension, is what I'm thinking it is. And a very beautiful dimension it is at that. As I move it around, you see I go through different um, areas of around the light and, and the pattern changes. Now some people have told me that this is something called caustics or light refraction or even lens flare, but I'm sure that it isn't because for one thing, and this they don't know, but I do, because with the naked eye, without a camera, without a, pe a marble to catch some light off of, just by looking at the light with the naked eye, I see a lot of what these orbs show. But that is not something I could prove to anyone, because... I mean, they would, unless they knew me and knew that I did not make up stories or anything, they, they wouldn't know but what I was maybe not telling the truth. But I tell you, if you will believe me, I see this light without the uh, aid of the camera, looking very strange and beautiful. And this that comes from the light, that is the teardrop shape, having difficulty here finding my light source again. Where is it? Okay, there it is. That there. Teardrop shape. That is a little portion of light that's that kind of is above the glass. And I look at that and I see the whole panorama of this beautiful arrangement of light. I call it like a peacock's feathers with beautiful centered spots of color like like in the peacock's feathers and I can see it with the naked eye and it's a bigger a vision it's a, a larger amount of the landscape than just through one little peak hole like you see here through this orb 
but the orb is given the people who will look at this video a chance to see it. At least to see it and know it's there, that I'm not talking about something that isn't there. There's a lot of dark in this. But the, I've discovered that the dark in the light defines the colors. It makes them a little more vibrant. Now let's go to this bigger one here that's a little further out. And I will go close in on it. So you see that it's always changing its colors, flashing them, coming up with different patterns and things. And I'll just be quiet for a little while and let you just look at this. As I move it around. Now you see there I've run into a dark area. You see the whole orb there and then as I go down some I run into a dark area that is some of the dark light that is coming out from the light source. I think dark or black is actually light. It's just not as bright. I have many albums albums of different pictures of orbs, not all, not all of them round. And you might want to check out my Google albums to see them because light does some fantastic things. This round orb is by no means an orb that has to stay round. It fans itself out and it lengthens itself like a ribbon. It does so many things. You'll just have to check out my albums. Maybe I'll put some close to where I put this so that you would, can just click into it and see the beauty of light that is all around us. Invisible, but all around us. Because without this method of taking a picture of it, you wouldn't see anything. You would think this is just empty space, but empty space is not empty. It is full of this sort of thing. That's a very bright center, center of light right there. If I can get it back in focus. It showed brighter as I had have gone smaller. Well, yeah, that's pretty bright. But when I close up get close up on it, it gets a little less bright. Well, it's a fascinating dimension. This is the Dove Lady over and out for now.